cousin has played through this game before, so it'll be my first time. Find someone to pick this up. Okay, so he's the murderer. Okay. Someone like him. I'm making it look like he did it. He probably laughs like that. August 3rd, 9 47 a.m. District Attorney, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Okay, so I know her. Dude, you're such a geek. Oh, hi, Chief. Ooh, I'm glad I made Everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, mm, it's him. Death, despair. Ah! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. Yes, Mia, he just said that. Oh, uh, yeah. killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. Larry stinking freaking Butts. 
my best friend since high school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. Yeah, because he sucks. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. Yeah, because he sucks. The one thing I can say though, it's usually just not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I knew I'm better than anyone. That he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him money. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. Need a sip of my freeing attorney juice. Hashtag not sponsored. I'm one of those people. And this is what I'm going to do. District Court, Attorney, August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two.
Okay. Let's see. She will hit the button. Perfect run Correct! Oh, ho, ho, ho. You answered all my questions. I see no reason why you shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Santa Claus. Uh, feel relaxed with that. Well then, there's a question for the prosecution, Mr. Pay Prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Uh, I'm Chief. What do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. I just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Oh, uh, Larry gets decided easily. This could be bad. Watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Uh, then they all died. I wasn't dumb. He wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. What's you anyway? Yeah. Mr. Black, can you describe it really what we mean by dumb death? In fact, he had completely abandoned in you. And we're seeing other men. He's returning from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Oh, I see. I mean, one of them. Lies! All of it! Lies! I don't believe a word! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day she took the bed day before she the victim apparently arrived home from Paris on July 30th, the day before the murder. Hmm, indeed, she is still returning the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but didn't have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar nannies. Daddies? Sugar? Continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, 
quite. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. This is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the fitness department on the day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> well, did you or did you not, Mr. Fudge? <laughs> well, maybe I did. Court, Larry. Larry, you're in court. You don't do that in court. You're gonna go to jail forever for murdering a hot chick. That's like the worst thing to ever exist. Uh oh, he went. What do I do? Tell the truth, Larry. Be a good boy. I know, I said my secret. Tell the truth. There, I went. Order! Mr. Blitz, dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so I, I didn't see her. Attention! You're right, man, the defendant is lying. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Bunch is lying. Well, that's a device, Matters. Who is your main witness? <laughs> the man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that, my bull cut, yeah. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Baywain, the, the prosecution can call. Mm, yes, your honor. attention to this. Some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Saad used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your pure usual. Blackout record. Electricity to Mrs. Stone's, uh, Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. No, Mr. Right. Y yes, uh, yes, Your Honor. Let me begin your cross examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, buddy. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what is that I'm supposed to do? Why, you need to tell us a lie. That's one of the witnesses to me. Why? What? He was lying? The client is innocent, right? So the witness must have lied to me. Evidence. 
Okay, I'm going to put the witness to me. Uh, okay. I'm going to put the witness to me. I'm going to put the witness to me. Alright, let's roll. Witness to me. Okay. 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 Body 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find it hard to believe. The statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death and sometime after 4 p.m. There's no body to uh, no body to I just spent this three hour gap. After his testimony, I find it hard to believe. Mr. Solid? Your name is Solid? Okay. <laughs> Why are you so certain that you found the body of Woodfield? I, uh, Woodfield, I, Chief, that's a real good question. Great job, Rachel. Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Why not contradict him? Lies always forget more lies. See through one, and the whole story falls apart. Well, I remember now. Get a testimony again. <laughs> okay. Another testimony. Okay, let's see what he's talking about here. I should pay close attention now. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? And if the victim wasn't watching a video, they But there was a blackout in the building. She couldn't be watching TV. I'm saying a program on a tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross them in the witness. <laughs> right. You know what to do. I've got this one. on the building, so... Objection! Hold it right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this report, and this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or video. Ah! I will. Uh, the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Saul? No, I find it quite puzzling myself. What? Ah! Wait, I remember now. Mr. Saul, the court would prefer to hear an actor testimony from the very beginning. Ho, 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 ho! Those kinds of controversies are homing credibility. That you seem rather distraught. Killing the woman is 
being a lot. Moving on. Damn, Mr. Sawyer. Let's hear your testimony. What's more? Here in the top. So. Alright, another testimony. This dude has a lot of testimonies. This dude is so unreliable, it's ridiculous. I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There's a table clock in our apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The victim, the killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. The murder weapon? It's a freaking statue. It's not a clock. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross over the witness. Gladly. He Just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? Come on. Either objection or evidence. It's who do you think you are? Answer the question was Hey, I, I saw it there. Okay. That's a clock. Yes, Mr. Paywain. After witness stated, this actually doesn't need a clock. This actually is a switch. You just take it and it says the time out loud. But it doesn't look like a clock. I should really need a statue. My apologies. I see. Who was the clock after? Who was the table clock after? Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness is testing the witness. This is a clock. Hole in the wood the only way he can have known about the clock is to hold it in his hand. And the wood is testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Indeed, the witness knew it was a clock because he... Which is a clock? You were lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh well, yeah, prove it. Prove I went in there. I'm doing better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock. The shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Forget it, right? That makes sense. Me and my both could agree. Order and order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, sir. Uh-oh, 
Turns out Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to, to check and see when people were out of the house that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw let himself in to do his dirty work. When he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flushed it when Mr. Saw grabbed the nearest black object he could find. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. I can't believe I worked. I can't believe we still won. I still can't believe we won. Right, good job, man. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe you. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You can go ahead and jump in that one. Well, I really was going to quit. Supposed to be happy. 
happy. What's wrong now? Come on, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, no. I mean, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But my, my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... No, never mind. You see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully, you, you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People change. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Now. Thanks, Chief. Appreciate it. I think I'll work here that. Can I be off? I guess so. Hey, how about dinner? I'm Is soon gonna be another gonna be center of another incident. And I promise to tell the chief about me and Larry. It'd be a promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Hmm? The end. Okay, so that's chapter one, a nice tutorial chapter there. Uh I'm really interested so far. I love doing the voices. Um I love the uh, script they have so far. That's pretty funny. The characters are lively and interesting. I wanna see more from this game and I'm interested for when chapter two happens. And uh when it does, I really wouldn't mind coming back to play it again because this game is really super interesting. Look out for episode two, which I'll be releasing very soon as well. Uh, oh. Beep. Hello? This is Maya. Okay. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called me. 
sorry, I've been busy. Have you? Well, lonely, and it's your fault. And I'm just teaching you. That'd be great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm keeping on because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. I mean, the whole evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz when we get the trials. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got you. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, I think. Yeah, it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Okay, so I guess it's a younger sister. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside of this desk. Papers? Is that the evidence thing? this here for now and oh okay now miss Faye, i'll take what's mine the paper i'm sorry but i can't give you what i don't have miss Faye, you aren't a poor liar you are a poor liar why i see you right over there that must be the thinker that swallowed those papers how could you know oh you are not configurous of my you are not configurous of my background gathering information is my business you see I, I should have been more careful. Ho <laughs> ho! My dear Miss Faye, I am very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. I need to save again. Um, make sure you tune in um, the next episode where we find out what the heck just happened. Um,